sail set in their traditional way, in the ancient Polynesian style, and with these wonderful Fijian people who know how to sail these, this ancient vessel uh, without any navigation help except the stars and the movement of the, the swell of the ocean and the direction of the waves and the shape of the moon and the canopy of stars and the sunrise and the sunset, all that, and they can tell where they are and where they're going. And it's so wonderful to be with these people who know what they're doing and feel welcomed by them and a part of their life. This intrinsic harmony that they live by, where the body is at one with air and light and water and the green realm and the power of this cosmos. I'm very grateful for this moment in time. It's unspeakably beautiful. I think the whole journey really kind of um, reiterated that Fijian culture is not Suva City. It's it's more of the of what this voyage is about. It's about sailing into the heart of the the yoga. And because Pacific Islanders were natural seafarers, so what the Fijian um, crew on the Utunialo were doing was revisiting our past history of sailing using navigation um, skills of using the stars and the moon and nature to navigate travel within um, between islands. That we feel these indigenous people of the Fiji Islands in. They're in it, they're living it. They have no separation from it in their lifestyle and it's so much to learn from them, not just in their ancient sailing craft, but in their life altogether. I think you really connect with yourself through nature and really living simply by living close to the land and close to the ocean and what it means to be a human being. Maybe because I'm also of Indian background, I felt like I wanted somebody who really understood the spirituality and how it fit in and a lot of at least in the West, a lot of yoga teachers, it's not so much about that. And right. so I came across Mark and I just really loved the way he talked about yoga. It really, for the, it was the first time I really felt like it, somebody resonated, or I resonated with him. And it was the way he talked about, you know, just participating in the present moment and not trying to get anywhere. And just to use yoga terminology, I realized it was a, it was a good counterpose for me because in some ways I'd carried over the ambition I had in the material world into my spiritual practices. Right. And in my meditation, I realized I was probably, I don't want to say trying to get somewhere, but, but realizing that I wasn't, I, that a, not, a lot of purification needed to happen and I needed to keep improving myself. And I, then I came across work stuff and I thought, well, maybe, maybe it's not so much about that. Maybe it's also just about self-acceptance. I learned from Master Navigator. Right. So I know how to navigate by using elements right right so i you know every time i feel when i go out i feel that i have company you know sp spirit by you know by my ancestors been there guiding me along so right. it's not just me right. it's the, the people have been selling before me is there something uh, spiritual in it the, the vessel coming for the first time to this island you know it hasn't been done in like over 100 years so Right. So being here for after 100 years is right. that's why it's more... Kind. Really, 100 years. So it really is an art that has uh, diminished. It hasn't been there in the modern times yeah, that it's, uh, you are re-establishing. Yeah, it's, hmm. it's, uh, it's the art that's been almost been gone. Wow. So it's, uh, it's amazing that, you know, art's been revitalized by right. this right. knowledge. So. We've made the crossing. We, we went from uh, Viti Lavu to uh, Koro and we'll spend a few hours here and then we'll go on to Taviuni. Thank you.
no kalau masa tiko, ngerem nasa tiko na elau lau 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 sa tiko kina, eh bakal lupa 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 going on to this uh, a rather large workshop. It's a big deal to ask people to come from all over the world and arrive in this beautiful land, but a humble land, not sophisticated in Western lifestyle and, and Western uh, technologies. And just like we've done right now to ask people to come and land here and be uh, educated in yoga. It's quite difficult as Tamar and Patrick and Rosalind know who have done this before a few times. In the sacredness of the natural land and ocean and the sacredness of the natural people, the indigenous people who live here, and to have that experience of that sacred experience. And then take that home to our own lives wherever we are. That's what I want to um, achieve. Really uniquely kind. I mean, you always find groups that come together, but I thought this was really nice. But he did a nice job of pulling people together and being a leader when he needed to be. They are ready for us in the Chief's Hall and we'll be there after a 12 hour beautiful sail under this full moon. Part of Yoga Cafe. What can I get for you? The best hour of the day with all these fruits from this paradise island. We love so much. And we have coconut, papaya, passion fruit, bananas, there is porridge, egg, and buckwheat. And, and the most important for everyone, the coffee. <laughs> one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. 
Yeah, yeah, quiet, remote, gorgeous, gorgeous. Like every day there's been something special. It is just a magical experience. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty special stuff that's happening here. Beautiful synergy of people from all around the world. And Mark's teachings are really connecting us all to the heart of yoga, what yoga is all about. So I'm super grateful to be here. Super grateful. <laughs> you are the beauty. Look out over the scene of Fiji here, and you're sitting there. You are the beauty. I cannot, dis I cannot uh, delineate you from the beauty of this cosmos. You are arising, and, and, and that's a very plain statement. Please, live in our lives with a few friends that we can relate to like that. One, maybe one friend that we can relate to like that. Inhalation of this movement here merges with the exhale from below. So if you do that asana practice you and rest for a, a little while, then you have tangible capability in pranayama that's not there if you don't do asana first. Jay Krishnamurti died frustrated and his followers were frustrated. There's another whole story that how that he didn't discover yoga till the end of his life. And when he did discover it, he's very interested in what it actually was. Collaboration of UG Krishnamurti and Krishnamacharya. I was there, I was with them and they both influenced me. And so what I teach you represents that collaboration. Krishnamacharya said, you better not to be inspired in the first place if you don't have the tools of practice that enable you to feel what has inspired you. You know what I mean? Stationary asana, there's this subtle movement of the body participating in its breath. These are the flexors and the extenders with the inhale and exhale. And that's the, the yin and yang of yoga. So I'm just saying, Janice, if you would do this practice, it is the yin yang, right? Practice that will bring that balance to you. And some days you'll wanna do more standing vinyasa, but not without the inhale as half the asana, right? And other days you'll feel quieter and you'll want to do less standing asana and more uh, forward bends, more lying down, more uh, twists. And that's your practice. So it's not yang without yin or yin without yang. You should do that. You choose the asana according to your yin yang participation and your energy of the day as the day, as the week changes and the moon changes as we get older, etc. So I don't want you to be stuck in that idea of a yang practice to be balanced then by a yin practice. And moves you life to life in the embrace of each other that brings new life through. And please would you now inhale, come up and stand on the knees, come right up, inhale up, right up. Stand on the knees, your good strong knees. Exhale, go back to the child pose and glide through to Bhujangasana, Cobra, the belly on the floor and a nice strong exhale. We've come up and we'll pump through that one more time. See if you've got it. You can take it home with you. Take it back for your daily practice. <clears throat> Inhale, glide through to Cobra, strong exhale, abdominals working in and up. Inhale into your core, Press the knees on the floor and come back to child pose. 
and we do yoga 101 first the body movement is your breath movement so would you inhale come up look up and see the hands like this see the and then exhale bring the arms down again good inhale come on up A little pause start the exhale before you move and arms come down it's called ujjayi or victory breath or ocean breath the sound of the ocean and just one more and now please Convert that into a forward bend on your next exhale. Exhale down, soften the knees, above to below. Strength that is receiving. Hatha yoga, the union of ha and ta, sun and moon, mother, father. Observe your natural breath. Body arises like a flower in bloom the heart flowing in all directions like a lotus bloom one petal in the crown one petal in the body base spirals left and right above to below diagonally this is how the nurturing of the heart flows in all directions scan the body and let each part of the body rest in and as the whole body <clears throat> each leg resting as the whole body each arm the whole head because you are the whole body whatever the body is altogether you are that pure intelligence arising unspeakable beauty please let stillness be the context of the whole body. You are reality itself. This perfect wonder of the cosmos appearing as the whole body in the perfect harmony with the rest of life that is your natural state. There is no getting to that. Participation only in that is yoga, is life well lived. May everybody treasure that moment today, that mystery feeling of being comfortable in our own skin, in our own place, in our own cosmos, in our own wonder. I'm Matthew, I'm an engineer. I work on road construction and build bridges. Oh, and I do yoga. It's like 50 different meal scenes. It's really important. Part. Is there like a Look at that perfect, perfect alignment. Perfect alignment. <laughs> this. Straight. <laughs>
you are the beauty of life itself. Like that blows people away. And I think these are simple words that nobody speaks. We're taught everything else. We're taught how to be builders and bankers, but nobody's telling us you are the power of the cosmos. Who's, who's giving that most fundamental factual message? Bula. Come. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Come this way. Come. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Meet all my family here, all my friends from all over the world. And you, you make us so welcome here. You and your mums and dads and grandfathers and grandmothers, you make us feel so welcome. And the chief makes us feel so welcome on Taviuni. Mm -hmm. To the people of Taviuni, we love you so much and we feel so loved by you. And we are here, we're learning about yoga, yoga on Taviuni. And we went on a big sailing on an old, uh, ancient Fiji sailing boat called a Vaka. And we went from Suva on Vite Lavu all the way to Taviuni. We went to Koro Island and then we came to Taviuni on the Vaka. Lovely to meet you, Bula. Bulavanaka. served by the tea that is in fact a she <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.